If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's up, guys? It's Jaco, and welcome back to another GTA Online video. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five most fun vehicles that you should be purchasing in GTA Online. Next week, Tuesday the 19th, we should be receiving an update, so it might not be the best idea to purchase these vehicles right away if you're a little bit low on cash but if you're bored of the game and you're looking forward to the update and you've been playing it a little bit more maybe you purchase these vehicles to have some fun in the game so without further ado let's hop right into it at number five the toretto this car has quite a bit of capabilities it has machine guns it has homing missiles it has boost and the coolest part about it is that it can go underwater be like kind of like a mini submarine and can shoot little torpedoes as well it's pretty cool to if you're getting chased by an oppressor or something to just slip under the water unscathed and just make your escape through there though there isn't a whole lot of other uses to go underwater other than to really make your escape or drive your submarine or your yacht it's not the greatest and most useful vehicle most practical vehicle in most cases but i still find it a lot of fun to use especially boosting around using the missiles and machine guns and stuff like that and it's a four-door which you don't really see a whole lot with these weaponized vehicles so that is one thing that it does have above the others Next at number four, we have the Insurgent Pickup Custom or just the regular old Insurgent. But for this gameplay, I'm specifically using the Pickup Custom. It's got proximity mines, came out with the Gunrunners DLC back with the bunker. So you would have to do some research to be able to obtain some of those upgrades. But nonetheless, the minigun on top is super fun driving around with your friends. The proximity mines are super OP if you're getting chased by cops or whatnot. And probably one of the most unique things about this vehicle is how how the mass of the vehicle works if that makes any sense what i mean is that this car can just absolutely plow through other vehicles there is little to nothing that can stop this vehicle it, it just goes straight through vehicles roadblocks from the police are just no match for this vehicle it can get all these cool armor upgrades it can take a lot of rockets to defend yourself against those oppressor mark ii weirdos it's just a great vehicle overall. There's nothing bad about it. It's pretty quick as well, though it is kind of on the slower side. Nowadays, five years ago, it was still a pretty damn quick vehicle. I this is I use this vehicle all the time. It's probably my most used personal vehicle of all time. The proximity mines and miniguns, everything about it is just so cool and so much fun. And it's just fun, especially to drive around with friends, using the minigun on top, just lighting up the cops, surviving waves and waves of cops. It's so much fun with this vehicle. Coming in at number three will be the Amani Tech vehicles, but more specifically, the Buffalo STX is what I use in this gameplay. There are a couple other Amani Tech vehicles that can get the same capabilities, the remote control, the missile lock on jammer, the machine guns, the armor upgrades, the oil slick little mine things, which is super, super fun, by the way. The oil slick mines can be a absolutely hilarious thing that you can use to troll your friends i've had plenty of my friends rage on me just oil slicking them over and over and over and over again the machine guns are pretty good they're pretty powerful they're not the best but they will get the job done if need be and probably my most favorite capability of this thing is the remote control capabilities which is is super super nice you get a little car bomb option or you can just drive around and just use the machine guns use the oil slicks i use this to kill people online all of the time and it's funny to see their reactions because they start shooting at the driver's seat and there's no one in the driver's seat so then you're not even on the map when it comes to driving this thing around and uh, in public sessions so you know trolling people is a super fun and easy way to get under people's skin if you're dealing with a tryhard douchebag in a public lobby this car or just the Imani tech vehicles overall are some of my favorite from the recent contract update Getting a group of your friends and just driving around with remote control cars, personal vehicles, and just messing with tryhards would probably be one of the funnest things you could ever do in this game. I highly suggest you try it if you and your friends got the money for one of these bad boys. Super, super fun. 
Number two is the Scramjet. And let me tell you, I do not use this vehicle enough. I love this car so much. The missiles are incredibly OP, the homing missiles. You can jump with this thing, you can boost with this thing, you can jump and boost with this thing. If you've ever seen some of the stunt videos that people have done on this thing, you can get incredibly good, incredibly quick. Though, I'm not the best with it. You'll see me crash all the time in this gameplay, but still super, super fun option for stunts alone. But even in public lobbies, you can get the, you can use the missiles on this thing to get the job done against some tryhards that are trying to kill you and your friends or trying to blow up your supplies. Uh, this thing already looks extremely cool, by the way. Like the, the speed racer kind of vibe to it, I love. Some of the liveries you can get on this thing are really, really cool. And I believe this thing has machine guns as well. So it's just one of those really cool weaponized vehicles that just has some little bonuses to it. You can jump and boost around and just fly around the map and have a whole lot of fun doing some cool stunts while you're at it. An honorable mention that I felt was necessary, though it is exclusive to only PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles right now, is the expanded and enhanced How Special Vehicles. These are the fastest vehicles in the game. The S95 more specifically is what I'm driving here in this gameplay. It is super fast. You can feel just the quickness of these vehicles once you get behind the wheel of them. And uh, I know there's the Hakachu that is faster than the S95, but the how, the how special vehicles overall are extremely, extremely fun. The upgrades you can get on it to make it just way faster than any other vehicle in the game. It is something you must experience that hopefully once we get these vehicles on PC or on PS4, Xbox One, if they're capable of getting it, um, I would highly suggest getting one of these things, especially the S95 considering it is free if you do the little time trial for how as well. There's really no reason why you shouldn't have this vehicle, especially considering it is free. And coming in at number one, my favorite most fun vehicle in the game is the Phantom Wedge. Though it still blows up in one rocket, it's not technically a personal vehicle, but it is a special vehicle. I wish we could add some cool little custom upgrades to this thing. It is one of the really, really old DLC vehicles that I just never got, never got old of. You know, it's just so, so much fun to just plow through any vehicle in the game, watch the cars go flying, watch them explode. Police roadblocks just stand no chance of this thing. You can juggle cars around like nobody's business, and the Phantom Wedge is 100% my, my favorite vehicle in the game. It's not even close. It can also be useful for some missions if you're doing the KO Perico setup and you're getting the long fin boat. Using this is extremely useful and can save you a whole lot of time. Just thought I would add that as well. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Top five most fun vehicles in the game. Let me know what you guys think and let me know your favorite vehicles down below with a comment as well. Though these aren't the most convenient. Some of these can be very, very pricey. I highly suggest if you are kind of short on money not to buy these some of these vehicles at least. But if you have the money, you're doing KO Perico and making hella bread. You might as well spend some money on the game and have some fun. It's never a bad thing to have fun in GTA Online with some pri in a private session with some friends. It's never, ever a bad thing. So let me know what you guys think of the video. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let me know what other guides or top fives you guys would like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.